Hey, Ben Fish. 24th September 2018. And this is like really interesting. And it's just one of those things that, you know, you see it and it speaks to you. It's like the spirit just says, hey, take a look at this. You know, don't spend all day on it, but this is important because this is a an indication. You could call it a sign. There's, there's a message behind it, okay? And so I saw this article yesterday about this two-headed copperhead snake found in Virginia, okay? This is a poisonous snake. I'll link the article. Uh, both of these heads can, in fact, strike, okay? It's, it's a double-headed serpent, essentially, right? Found in Virginia. And so my first inclination was to find out where it was and go find it on the map. So that's what I did. It's right here in Woodbridge, Virginia. And I made a line, but I want to make another line because you, you just can't, you can't believe this stuff. This is the craziness of all this, right? So we'll start right in the same place. And we'll just follow this same line. This is right outside of Washington, D.C., where they found this double-headed snake, okay? And so, because we have our Arch of Triumph coming here, uh, day after tomorrow, supposedly, right? Gonna be set right up here, right on the forehead of the Gota Mendes, the Baphomet. Well, take a look at the, uh, the gauge here, okay? Now, just look at the, um, the degree of, of, you know, direction, the heading, okay? 33.22 degrees, okay? Now, that's pretty crazy in and of itself, right? Now, it's only 20.64 miles. However, this is what happens if we go to kilometers. Look what the kilometers are. You, you, I mean, do you think the chances of this happening are high, low, medium, or like nil? That all three, the, the distance and the heading, are all 33.22. I, I don't think that that's even possible in the world of, you know, physics. You know what I'm saying? So we have a double-headed copperhead. Okay, now there's the Virginia connection, Columbia, the Virgin, all these things. And I haven't put this together. This is all just coming to me this morning. And I'm doing this real quick because I got to go to work. You know what I mean? And so there's that. And on top of that, I'm just like on a roll here looking at this thinking there's a lot to this. The double head. We could think of the double head. Many biblical... Uh, you know, references to the double-mindedness, you know? I mean, this is crazy. I've I've gone through a lot of double-minded things before. <laughs> but, I mean, it also reminds us of, of Janus, the double-headed, the double-faced uh, god, Roman god. Okay? Now, the two heads, copper heads, came to my mind as well. And do you know that originally... The dome of the Capitol in Washington, D.C. was, in fact, copper. Okay? I'll link all this stuff. Da-da-da-da, this architect, Charles Bullfinch. It was copper. And they changed it, like, I don't know, 50 years, 100 years later, or something like that. And St. Peter's Basilica is also topped in copper. Okay? So you have these two copper domes, copper heads. You have the Arch of uh, Triumph coming to Washington, D.C. on Thursday, or Wednesday, rather. You got the U.N. stuff going on. You got a double-headed copperhead snake right outside of D.C. in Woodbridge, which happens to be in... Uh, in Prince William County, which I thought was very interesting. So you could see the connections that can be made here. How crazy it is, right? And, you know, it's one of those things that you can just 
go on and on and on because this deception of this world it's it's like you know when someone tells a lie and then they need to come up with another lie to cover up that lie you understand and and before you know it i mean you got this giant web of lies and it can't be covered anymore and that's what's happening in the world right now you know satan's deceit and his lies from the beginning have just compiled and now they're all being revealed because it's God's time because he says so that's what time it is for all to be revealed now I don't understand what the exact connection here between this double head snake Washington DC the arch of triumph I can tell you that in um, in Rome that there is an arch okay we know Janus or Janus who happens to be the god of beginnings gates transitions time doorways passages I mean what is an arch okay and in Rome there is an arch of Janus and it's a four-sided arch if you can believe that and I'm sure if I look this up on the map and put in relation to the Vatican we'd find some interesting connections there all I'm saying is this is like a supernatural uh, sign if you will like it just spells out the the two-headed serpent you know the the condition of mankind the double-mindedness let's look up double mind double-mindedness I, I know that it's throughout the uh, Bible Look at copper is in Ezra. It's the only place in the Bible where copper is mentioned. And you, of course, you just read Ezra 8. You'll see all the, it's related to the priesthood, um, to the temple. Everything is in this chapter of Ezra. And then we look for uh, the, the Janus and Jambres. Now, Janus can basically, could be looked at as the same uh, gods that, uh, we see the double-headed, double-mindedness. See, in James, twice in James, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Draw nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay? Two-spirited, vacillating, or double-minded. And we could dig deep into these words, too. But, you know, this is just too much coincidence. Once again, 33.22 miles. I mean, that's crazy. At 33.22 degree heading. Okay. And this article comes out yesterday. A double-headed copperhead in Virginia on the 23rd. It doesn't say exactly when the snake was found. But boy, it's all over the place. I just saw it yesterday and was like, what the heck? And so, there it is. I mean, this is to me, this is just another indication that that spiritual ritual, that, that dark underbelly of this world is just, it's all coming to a head where everything is just going to have to snap it cannot be held back anymore there's only god is holding back what satan wants to do in this world and he's going to have a chance to do it once god pulls his protection away and that is coming very soon and you know you just got to be ready you just got to be ready it's 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 a readiness thing you know soon to us is not soon to god it's just the way it is. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. His ways are not our ways. Believe me. But still, it, just the simple fact of the measurement here. I got to I got to actually do that again because that just blows me away that that's even possible. Look at that. Kilometers though. I wonder why they insist on using kilometers in some of these and not in others but this is right where the arch of triumph is going right here 
33.22 miles away from the double-headed copperhead snake at a heading of 33.22 degrees. Just think about that. I am because it blows me away every time I see stuff like this. It, it, we're showing it for a reason. I mean, seriously, that how that stuff just comes to us and we're given the ability to see and understand that you're actually witnessing something significant. That God is literally showing you how this underbelly has operated in this world for millennia. And how you defeat that is literally through the acceptation of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Acknowledge that you live in a world of sin and you're steeped in it I mean, we're all sinners, and there's only one uh, result from sin, and that's death. We're under a death sentence unless you are redeemed. You have been paid for, a price has been paid as a free gift, a gift of mercy, of salvation, that has to be accepted and believed upon, and boom, you're done, you're sealed. Okay, and you can live a life of peace and, and know with all certainty that death is no longer that thing that you fear coming down the pike because you're saved. Did you know that last year, 2017, was the first year ever that a copper star was made for the national Christmas tree? I thought that was pretty interesting too. And it's got a very interesting uh, shape here. <laughs> it's just nuts how this stuff works. But, you know, it's real. First copper ever. Do you know that the copper also is the 29th in the periodic table? 29 is an extremely interesting number. It's not just a 911. And that CU. The uh, letters for copper are actually in numerology a 33. So CU is a 33. And, you know, all we do is we look and we watch and we ask for understanding and we get it. Because God is good and he does not forsake you when you are his and that's just ridiculous and we can go on with this stuff too as usual but i got to go people and i really wanted to share that with you because it's meaningful and i'll link as many of these things as i got if you want to look into this so there y'all go you have a great week keep looking up i'm telling you we're in that time frame things are going to be happening here real soon so Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 